guys, my name is Lasha and today I will be teaching you pre-intermediate vocabulary uh, lesson. Our topic for today's lesson is food. We are going to talk about food and we will learn some new words. Also, we are going to create sentences together and after that we are going to do some exercises, some tests about this topic. Um, I see there is a problem with my video. The quality is a little bit bad. I'm sorry for it, guys. Hi to Halil, Sana, Rana and Ustafa. Let's see, we're live on Facebook. Yes, Facebook is also working. Good. Who else do we have today? Guys, can you say hi? Who is watching? So I understand your names. Lalik is also watching Nejat. They, hello, hello, Zainab. Guys, I uh, prepared my lesson in three different sections. We are going to learn vegetables, uh, fruits, and meat. Different types of meat. Of course, when we are talking about vegetables, everybody thinks about potato, tomato, these kind of things. But no, we are not going to learn only potato, tomato, but we are going to learn some difficult vocabulary <coughs> words. Hi to Sarier and human etc. I'm from Georgia, human etc. So the first thing that we are going to learn is beetroot. It has two different names. You can use beetroot or you can also use Partnership. I don't know the name in Turkish, but I showed you a photo, so I hope you understand this vegetable. Um, there is also one thing, it looks like beetroot a lot, turnip. Turnip looks like beetroot for me. I don't like these vegetables, so I'm not sure what's the difference between them. And third one is reddish. So these three things look like each other a lot. Now, let me ask you a question, guys. What can you cook with radish, turnip or beetroot? So, I'm asking you to give me a sentence using radish, turnip or beetroot. What can you cook with this food? Maybe there is some Turkish dish that you can cook with this one. Do you use it in salads or main dish? Zeynep says salad. Okay, we can write this sentence. Mm. We can prepare salad with beetroot, turnip, oh, sorry guys, I'm using Turkish keyboard, beetroot, turnip, or radish. Do you understand, guys, all of them? Gustafa says, in Azerbaijan, we cook beetroot, carrot, and cabbage soup. Oh, really? It sounds interesting. I love Azerbaijan. I visited two times. Um, and I had very, very good food in Azerbaijan. So let's write this example because cabbage is our next word. Cabbage, you can say, or you can also say Brussels sprout for this one. I will use... Gustafa's sentence, in Azerbaijan, they cook 
soup with cabbage, carrot, and beetroot. Oh, sorry guys, this is example for this one over here. This is for Azerbaijan. Good. Something which looks like cabbage also is a cauliflower. It has two different spellings, guys. You can write with the C. You can also write with different spelling, but this is more common spelling, okay? Cauliflower, like flower, you know, and in the beginning you add cauli, cauliflower. I hate cauliflower the most. I can never, never, never eat this. I hate the cauliflower the most. Does anyone like cauliflower or broccoli? Broccoli is this one and this is cauliflower. They are very similar. They look like each other. Do you like guys cauliflower and broccoli? Broccoli. And hey to gul. Lalik likes cauliflower and broccoli. Rana also likes both of them. Rana and Lalik love broccoli and cauliflower. Osden also likes it. Uh, Nejat enjoys cauliflower and broccoli. Gustafa says, I drink cauliflower water for treat. Really? This is interesting. Let's write. Gustafa drinks cauliflower water as a medicine. And broccoli is Lalik's favorite vegetable. Yes, human, etc. Broccoli is very, very, very healthy, but I don't like it. I cannot eat cauliflower or broccoli. Next thing that we are going to learn is type of pepper. It is called bell pepper. Or you can also see um, caspi capsicum or... Also, we call it Bulgarian pepper, okay? Another name is Bulgarian pepper. You know the country Bulgaria, yeah? So, I don't know why, but this is called Bulgarian pepper. Another type of pepper is red pepper, red chili, or just chili. Uh, they look very beautiful. Um... What can we cook with um, bell pepper? There is very famous Turkish dish with bell pepper, I think. What is it, guys? Turkish dish with bell pepper. Yeah, Nejat says dolma. Correct. We can cook dolma with bell pepper. We also cook in my country, in Georgia, dolma. But in Georgian, we say tolma with T, not D, with bell pepper. Chili we use for everything, I think. I use chili for everything because I love it. <clears throat> I also like bell pepper in salads, and not only salads, I like them in omelette, also very good for omelette. Next thing we have got over here, carrot. It is very healthy for ourselves, and um, also we can drink carrot juice. Carrot juice is very good. For you, Nejat visited Georgia. Oh, so good. 
in Azerbaijan also they cook dolma with bell pepper. Yeah, I think also in Armenia and all this region we all cook um, dolma. I'm not saying that it is Georgian or Turkish or etc. I don't know. But we all have this thing. Carrot is good for our eyes. Okay, let's write it. Carrot is healthy for our eyes. Cucumber. Guys, a lot of students have problem with pronunciation of this word. They say jujumbur or chuchumber. No, guys. Correct pronunciation is cucumber. 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 Um, I don't like cucumber very much, but I like something with cucumber. I like cucumber pickles. I love pickled cucumber. Do you know pickle, guys? Pickle. Do you know this word, pickle? Yes, I know. We can make a mask. We can put on our eyes or on our face. You can use the peel of the cucumber for uh, the skin. It's very good. We can use the peel of the cucumber for our skin. Sarier likes cucumber but doesn't like uh, carrot. Pickle, guys, is... In Turkish, I know name. It's turşu. When you put uh, cucumber in um, vinegar for some time, like some, maybe three days, four days, and you also add salt, and then it becomes sour. Turşu. I like this Turkish word very much. Turşu. It sounds good, I think. Next one, we have got tomato. And, of course, we use tomato for salads. But most important thing of tomato is, I think, tomato sauce. Turkish, you say salça. If you want to say it in English, it will be tomato sauce. Ketchup is also some kind of tomato sauce. Um, tomato sauce is necessary for pizza. Everyone loves pizza, I think. And we need good tomato sauce for the pizza because it's most important ingredient. Mushroom. I also like using mushrooms for pizza. Let's write it. Uh, tomato sauce and mushrooms are necessary for pizza. Gustafa prepares tomato sauce for winter. Very good. So let's have this example for both of them. Next thing we have got over here, potato. Guys, pay attention to pronunciation of this one. Potato and tomato. Not tomato, not potato, not tomates, not potates. Tomato and potato. Hello to Azime and Art and Techno. The tomato is love. Sarier, there is a problem in the sentence. You should say, I love tomato, but I don't like tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is very, very delicious. I love tomato sauce very much, but I don't like salcha. I don't like Turkish salcha, but I like other tomato sauce. <coughs> Guys, um, uh, do you think potato is good for our health, for our body? Nejat can't eat potatoes because of diabetes. Okay, let's write this sentence. Nejat 
can't eat potatoes. due to diabetes. Gustafa says potato is good for all the wrinkles. Potato is good for wrinkles under our eyes. I did not know this one. So, when you get older and you start having wrinkles, Gustafa says we should put potatoes over there. French fries. Yes, Rana, everyone loves French fries. Next thing, we have got garlic. Some people don't like garlic, but I absolutely love garlic. I think this is one of my favorite things. I use garlic for everything. Why? Because garlic is good for immune system. Do you know immune system, guys? Immune system. Your immunity. Turkish, Pashlik, Pashlik system, I think. For example, if there are, you have some virus and infections, etc., garlic is very good for it. <coughs> And onion we have got. Let's write something like this. I use garlic and onion in all types of soups. Uh, Sana says it gives flavor to all food. Garlic is beneficial for our immune system. Let's write this one as well. Garlic is beneficial for immune system. I don't like raw onions. Guys, do you know the meaning of raw? Do you know what is raw? Azme says, potato contains fossium, fossium. I don't know this element. It is good for our nervous system. And Ramazan says, we don't use onion for menemen. Yes, Rana, uh, Sana, you are correct. Raw means not cooked. If you don't cook something and you eat directly, we say it raw, without cooking. Potassium. Ah, okay. <coughs> Garlic and onions are natural antibacterial and antiseptic. That's totally true. Garlic and onion are natural antiseptic and antibacterial Corn. Next one we have got. I cannot say I love corn. I cannot say I don't like corn. It is normal for me, but I love corn flour. I mm, make bread, not make actually, I bake bread with corn flour. I think you know meaning of flour, guys. It is un in Turkish. Um, gul asks raw. Raw means not cooked gul. Not cooked. Next, we have one of my favorite vegetables. Green beans. I love green beans so, so, so much. I love summer because of green beans. 
I don't like summer because of holiday or uh, because of uh, sun and etc. I love summer because of green beans. It is one of my favorite thing. Can we use raw material instead of hem mezleme? Malzeme. I don't know what is mazleme, so I cannot say. Ramazan says boiled corn is sold on the streets. Boiled corn is sold on the streets. Ramazan, we need to use passive voice here, okay? Is sold. Satilior. Malzeme is some kind of material. Okay, maybe. Let me write my sentence, but before my sentence, we have different types of beans. We have normal green beans. We also have fava. I think you understand fava because Turkish name is also same, I think. Uh, this one has different names. We can say fava beans, we can say broad beans, or we can say horse beans. To be honest, we don't have this in my country and I had never eaten until last summer. Last summer I tried this in Turkey and I was shocked. It is amazing thing, I think. And I learned how to cook bakla. I think it's correct name, baklav with fava beans. And last summer I cooked it every week. Ozden has cornfield. Let's write this. Ozden has cornfield. So green beans, this one. This one is fava beans. And this one is ladies finger. Ladies finger. It looks like fingers, I think. That's why they said this. Let me write my sentences. I love summer because of green beans. Ramazan doesn't agree with me. He thinks green beans are not delicious. You should eat when I prepare it, how I cook it, then you will love it. I don't like Turkish way of cooking green beans. I prepare it Georgian way. It's amazing. Fava beans, I had never tasted fava beans until last year. Uh, ladies finger Mm, I think it is, I don't know Turkish name, and I don't know, do you have this one in Turkey, guys? Do you know Lady's Finger? Do you have it in Turkey? Ah, Rana says we make soup with it, okay. Mm, okay, I thought the same. I think I tried only once this one and it is not good. I did not like lady's finger at all. Uh, if you are looking for okra, we choose the small ones. Okay, if you want to buy okra you should choose small ones. You can prepare soup with it. I think it depends how you cook. It is very delicious. Really? Next thing we have got over here, pea or green pea. It has two different names. Nejat, we don't say unbelieve you, we can say I don't believe you or I don't agree with you or I disagree with you. Hmm. 
Hmm, so we should fry ladies' fingers? I have never tried fried. I tried in some kind of like a soup. Uh, I remember one thing now. I forgot to write here chickpea. We have got green peas and we have also got chickpea. Do you know what is chickpea, guys? So it's very similar. Look at green pea and what do you think is chickpea? Let me search it on Google and show you the photo of chickpea. This one is chickpea. So we have got chickpea and green pea. Turkish name Nohut, correct. I like chickpea soup. I like boiled chickpea. Green beans, I'm not so good with it. What can you cook with green pea, guys? <laughs> Sweet Kitten says he or she gets hungry when I say okra. <laughs> okra, 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 okra. I'm also hungry. To be honest, I did not have breakfast today. I don't eat before the lesson. What can you cook with green pea? We cook meal with green pea. Which meal do you cook? What is the name of the meal? Do you use it in salads? Do you prepare some main dish, side dish, or soup, maybe dessert, with green pea? No, I'm not so sure, green pea. Sometimes we eat green pea with rice. P is very general name. Uh, it is all kind of these things, what you take from inside. Uh, but if you are talking about this particular one, you can say green pea. Or when you say pea, it is a little bit more general. Sometimes I use green peas as garniture, okay, as a uh, side dish. Next one, we have got Asparagus. Asparagus is not popular in Turkey because I think I have never seen in Turkish farmer's market. Farmer's market is, guys, uh, bazaar. I have not seen asparagus in the farmer's market in Turkey. It's some people is doing this with cheese. Probably. I don't know. Zucchini. Do you know what is zucchini, guys? Can you see well in the photo? Zucchini. Actually, it is very similar to squash. Zucchini and squash are very similar to each other. Um, squash in Turkish is kabak, I think. So if it is green one like this, you can call zucchini or squash. Two different names. Come on. How come you have never seen kabak? Asparagus is very expensive in Turkey. Okay, we can write this sentence. 
asparagus is very expensive in Turkey. Let me show you now the difference between, uh, so we said zucchini and the second one I said squash. See guys, this one we say squash, but green one we say zucchini. It's almost same. Maybe we can use this photo, it's better than this. So zucchini and squash. We like zucchini so much like okra, green bean or other delicious vegetables. Hakan likes zucchini a lot. Hakan likes zucchini a lot. I think the best food you can prepare with zucchini is ratatouille. Do you know ratatouille guys? The best food prepared with zucchini is ratatouille. This is not English word. I don't know spelling of ratatouille. Uh, here. Another kabak that you said like a ball, that one has different name. Uh, let me write it also. So in Turkish you use same name. You say no, sorry. In Turkish you say same name, kabak and kabak, but in English it has three different names. If it is a green one like this, we say zucchini. If it is uh, yellow like this one, you say squash. And if it is something like uh, pumpkin, where can I show you pumpkin? Ah, here. This one you call pumpkin. I think in Turkish also you say uh, kabak for this one. I'm not sure. This one is pumpkin in English. I don't enjoy pumpkin. Yeah, old photo looked like cucumber because I think zucchini looks like cucumber a lot. Balkabak. Balkabak is pumpkin. Okay. Spinach. I like spinach very much, and um, in my country we do, we use spinach only boiled version, but. Now I discovered that if you fry spinach, it is very good. Fried spinach is very good. I eat spinach, I think, every day or every other day. I always have spinach at home. I always have spinach at home. I prepare a lot of dishes with spinach. My dad used to make spinach every week and I would give it to my pets. Oh, come on, Sana, <laughs> spinach to pets for dog or cat. Spinach is very cheap, that's also true. Spinach is very cheap. And also one more thing, when you boil spinach, it becomes so small. Like you buy one kilo or two kilos of spinach, you boil it and it becomes something like this. Very, very small. Spinach is a good source of iron. True. This thing looks very beautiful, I think, but the taste I did not like at all. Artichoke. 
I did not enjoy artichoke. I tried two times, but I did not enjoy artichoke. Can you tell me any um, food with artichoke? Do you know any food that we prepare with artichoke? Honey zucchini. <laughs> Good one. Don't say honey zucchini in English. We say pumpkin. Artichoke. Which food can we cook with artichoke? Is there any special food with artichoke? I think I don't know. We can say that artichoke looks very beautiful. Next thing, they look kind of uh, each other, ginger and turmeric. I like using both of them as spice, spices. So, if you make small, small, small granules like these, we say, um, in Turkish you say, I think you say, uh, baharat in Turkish, in English we say spices. We can use ginger and turmeric in cakes. Engineer dolma. Oh, really? Artichoke dolma? I have never heard of it. During the next part of our lessons, we are going to learn greens. Greens in Turkish is otlar. Azime says in Asian region, they make dessert with artichoke. Really? Dessert. Wow. Ginger is very good for our health. I agree with you guys. Now, when we are talking about greens, a lot of people don't know the names and a lot of people don't know the difference between them. We have got coriander, celery and parsley. They look like each other and people sometimes don't understand which one is which. But let me tell you, uh, coriander is kishnish in Turkish or Kinzi, if you are from Black Sea region, you will say Kinzi. Celery is Kerevis and Parsley is Maidonas. Maidonas, Maidonas. Nejat says Indians use turmeric very much. Scientists think that the most useful efficient factor for low prevalence of cancer in India. Oh, really? So in India, they don't have cancer because of turmeric or ginger. Which one? Turmeric. In Turkey, most of the people don't know what is coriander. That's totally correct. In Turkey, people use parsley. They don't use celery. They use celery roots. Let's write this one. Celery root. Do you understand celery root, guys? Not the green thing, but like uh, under this, you see white big thing. In Turkey, they use this celery root, but they don't use celeries. Um, remember I said that I cook green beans very well. Let me write what I need for green beans. When I cook green beans, I add coriander, leaves, celery, parsley, uh, dill, Time and what else? 
what else do I need? Um, coriander, parsley, dill, thyme, sashklavi, kondari, I think that's all. I, I don't use anything else. And time, let's write like this. In Turkey, coriander is not popular, but in my country, coriander is very, very, very popular. Also in India, they use coriander a lot. Coriander is popular in Georgian and Indian cuisine, but not in Turkish cuisine. Coriander taste is like a bit strange for Turkish taste. Yes, coriander is very, very different from other things. Um, if you have never tasted it before, it can be a little bit different. So this one is coriander, this one is celery, uh, then we have got parsley and we have also dill. Dill is dereotu in Turkish, I think. Um, Gustafa says in Azerbaijan also we use coriander leaf. Yep, yeah, that's very good. I love coriander leaves. So this one is dill. Then we have got watercress over here. Near the Black Sea region, yes, they use coriander more than other places in Turkey. This is watercress. Do you understand watercress, guys? Yeah, human, etc. I know it. Of course, we eat it in salads or just without salad. You just take and eat coriander. Watercress. I think watercress is in, in Turkish roka, I think, but I'm not sure, guys. You can see, you can see from the photo, is this roka, guys? Next one, we have got leek, leek, prasa in Turkish, and Prasi in my language. In Georgian, we say prasi. I like this one also. Um, we can use leek to make some food, or we can also use leek for what? We can just eat leek without cooking. Uh, watercress is eaten by fish. Really? Fish eat rock watercress. Watercress is eaten by fish. I did not know this. Leek is this one. And we have two more things. We have got thyme. Thyme in Turkish is kekik, I think. It is very popular in Turkey. I should write this one. Thyme is one of the most popular... Popular greens in Turkey. But in Turkey, people use thyme as a spice, like baharat. And last one, we have got mint. You can say peppermint, mint, or peppermint leaves. My advice, use short form. Say only mint. Um, mint has amazing smell. I love mint. I buy a lot and the house smells great if I have fresh mint at home. Gustafa drinks mint tea and thyme tea. Yes, you are correct. I tried thyme tea in Azerbaijan. It was so different. I tried thyme tea 
in Azerbaijan. Baku. Juice of thyme is very healthy for teeth and stomach. Really? Thyme juice is healthy for teeth and stomach. I do not know this. Thank you. Mint tea is very good for your nervous system. Mint tea can make you not sleepy but relaxed. Mint tea can make you relaxed. It is very good for relaxation. Thyme is kekik, Alem. Guys, I think we can have a break now for 15 minutes and 15 minutes later we can continue. Azime, please drink some coffee. <laughs> Other students can also drink, I guess. But I remember Azime drinks coffee during break times. I will also drink my coffee and have a, a cigarette. And I will see you back in 15 minutes. Dünyadan hemen kalkman gerek Adım at ki gerçekleşsin her dilek Bekliyor seni parla bir gelecek Sen ona gittikçe o sana gelecek Just Englishle şimdi sen de dile gel Just Englishle şimdi sen de dile Şimdi sen de dile gel Just Englishle Şimdi sen de dile gel A world full of joy and smile A world where A will only buy Satisfaction and learn to survive In the outside world just sing your style Learn, play, sing and dance Do what you don't see anywhere else Learn, play, sing and dance Do what do just sing your style Hayat devam ettikçe bitmez bu yarı Sen de bir dil öğren macerayla tanış Hayat devam ettikçe bitmez bu yarı Sen de bir dil öğren bu dünyaya karışacağız Dinlişle şimdi sen de dile gel Just dinlişle şimdi sen de dile gel Enthusiastic and uh, enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. <laughs> Re, rigid, rigid. <laughs> recipe, recipe. Enthusiastic. <laughs> recipe. Pida. <laughs> recipe. Clark. 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 Pronunciation.
Kalkman gerek Adım at ki gerçekleşsin Her dile bekliyor seni Parla bir gelecek Sen ona gittikçe O sana gelecek Just English'le Şimdi sen de dile gel Just English'le Şimdi sen de dile Şimdi sen de dile gel Just English'le Şimdi sen de dile gel A world with a joy and smile A world where A won't only buy Satisfaction and learn to survive In the outside world just sing your style Learn, play, sing and dance Do what you don't see anywhere else Learn, play, sing and dance Do what you do just sing your style Hayat devam ettikçe bitmez bu yarış Sen de bir dil öğren maceraya tanış Hayat devam ettikçe bitmez bu yarış Sen de bir dil öğren bu dünyaya karış Just English'le şimdi sen de dile gel Just English'le şimdi sen de dile gel I'm back with you guys. Hi again. I hope you enjoyed your break. We talked about tea a lot and I wanted to tell you my favorite tea. I don't like drinking tea normally. I don't drink black tea. I like mint tea a lot and my favorite tea is hibiscus. 
I'm not sure you know this one or not. Hibiscus, it is a begümeci in Turkish. My favorite is hibiscus tea. Only this one. I don't like other types of tea. Now we finished with vegetables. We are going to learn some uh, meat and uh, fruits. After that, we will do a lot of exercises about this vocabulary. Now, what type of meat do we have? Generally, we can say meat, and you see Turkish meaning. Hi, Zeynep. Meat is this one. Uh, we also have beef. I'm not sure about Turkish translation. I think beef is dana in Turkish. Veal is uh, little beef. If the beef is, uh, if the cow, cow you understand this, if the cow is more than one year old, we say beef for the meat. If the cow is less than one year old, we say veal, okay? So, I'm not sure about Turkish. Beef and uh, veal, Turkish translation. Then we have got pork, which I love very much, but in Turkey people don't eat this because of their religion. Um, after that, we have got lamb. Lamb is be kuzu. Poultry. Poultry is chicken, turkey, and all other bird meat. We call poultry, and minced meat is, you see here, kima. Now, can you help me, guys, with sentences, and can you give me some sentences with these words? Beef, veal, pork, lamb, poultry, or minced meat. Come on, I'm waiting for your sentences, please. No, Zeynep, I'm not from England. I'm from Georgia, Gurdjistan. Give me some sentences, guys. What can we cook, for example, with beef or veal, lamb? What kind of food can we cook? Maybe what dishes do you have in Turkey with meat. Minced meat, probably most popular one is what? Dolma. Thank you, Gustafa. Minced meat, minced meat. We use it for dolma or for kofte. But in uh, English, we have something very similar to kofte. We call it meatballs. So I will write this one. We cook meatballs with minced meat. And Gustafa says we prepare kebab with lamb. Okay, let's write this one. We prepare kebab with lamb. Uh, Muslim people don't eat pork. Actually, uh, not only Muslims, but also Jews. Muslims and Jews. Do you know Jews, guys? Jews are people from Israel. I drink Tarhana soup. Great suggestion. Drink Tarhana soup. Oh, I like Tarhana. It's good. So, Muslims and Jews don't eat pork. What can you cook with beef or veal, guys? 
What can we cook with beef or veal? Do you use beef or veal for minced meat? Do you remember minced meat, kima? Do you use beef or veal for minced meat? Gustafa says, in Turkey, meat is expensive. That is so correct. In Turkey, meat is expensive. That is true. Guys, I don't know. Tell me. For minced meat, do we need beef or uh, veal? Mm, we need beef or veal for minced meat. I'm not sure. If you know, you can tell me. As for poultry, we said poultry is chicken, turkey, uh, and all other types of birds. Azime cooks veal with some vegetables. And we have got poultry. Maybe we can say mm, not just people from Israel. I think most proper way of describe of them is Moses believers. Okay. Yes, you are correct. Jew is not about the country, but it's about the religion. You are correct. Sorry for my mistake. Mm, Firuza says barbecue. Which one do we need for barbecue? We have got another example for beef. Firuza, you said for barbecue, which meat do you need for barbecue? Nurset is cooking steak with beef. Nurset is cooking steak with beef. I love chicken a lot so i buy it in the poultry section in the poultry section in the supermarket this is all about meat i think we understand different kind of meat now let's go to the taste when we taste something uh, if it has a lot of sugar, we say it is sweet. If it has a lot of salt, we say it is salty. If it has a lot of pepper, we will say spicy or hot. And if it is um, like lemon, we say sour. So, tatlı, tuzlu, acı and ekşi in Turkish. Turkey meat is also poultry, correct. Poultry is all bird meat. Let's uh, prepare some sentences. Um, I love sweet things. Um, I know that Mexican people uh, have a lot of spicy food. Spicy actually has two meanings. We can say spicy for something with pepper or we can say spicy for something which has a lot of um, a lot of lot of um, spices like a lot of baharat we can also say spicy so let's write this one actually spicy baharatli baharatli i think indian people have spicy food Mexicans have hot dishes 
they use pepper a lot. If uh, the food is salty, I don't eat it. Zainab is asking me question, what is my favorite food? If we are talking about Turkish food, my favorite is um, mercmek çorba. Mercmek in English is lentils. Let's write that one, actually. We had somewhere over here, we can write lentils. Maybe near here, we can write lentils. Lentils. Mercmek in Turkish. I love lentil soup. Generally, I love Georgian cuisine very much. And poultry. I love everything with chicken and cheese. Sour. Guys, which uh, food is sour? Which food can be sour? Salad, soup, Nejat ate Mexican haricot bean and it was red due to the sauce. Muram says apple is sour. Can apple be sour? Yeah, why not? Lemon. Hey, correct. Lemon and apple can be sour. Azime cannot eat spicy food. It's not good for her health because he has hypertension. Hypertension. I use sour at both salad and some soups. Yeah, I also like sour and I use, um, but I don't use lemon. I use vinegar to make food sour. I use vinegar to give sour to make food sour we can write like that to make food sour baklay i have no idea what is baklay leyla i don't know what is baklay Yeah, we can prepare vinegar from apples. Uh, we can prepare vinegar from grapes. Now let's talk about fruits. I think you understand most of the fruits and we don't need to prepare uh, some sentences. Bulgur is bulgur. It's same in English. Uh, there is no translation for it. And actually... I uh, watched some videos and it turned out Bulgur, first official name, comes originally from Laz. Laz people created the name first, Bulgur. And in Laz language, Bulgur, it means the heart of something. I don't remember. Budai is wheat. Wheat. Now, as for fruits, we don't need to prepare sentences, we just have a look, okay? Apple is this one, everybody knows, I think. Then we have got pear, pear, these. Next one is melon, and also we have watermelon, watermelon and melon. One of them is yellow, another one is green outside and red inside. Maybe we can write this sentence. 
watermelon is green outside and red inside. Gustav, are you here? Is Gustafa with us? I need to say something. I think ter uh, Azerbaijan has the best watermelons. I love watermelon in Azerbaijan. I eat favorite food. Fruit is green apple and Eric, but I don't eat watermelon. Okay, Eric, we will learn. Eric is not Eric in English. We will learn a little bit later. Now let's talk about citrus. You understand citrus, I think. Citrus is a group of fruits which consists of orange. Orange is orange color. Lime, which is green. Then we have got lemon. Lemon is yellow color. And we have mandarin. Another name for mandarin is tangerine. We use two different names. And also we have something red and very, very soury. It is grapefruit. Okay? So we have five different citrus. Orange, lime, lemon, mandarin and grapefruit. Osgur says Diyarbakir's watermelon is also very delicious. Okay, let's write this sentence. Diyarbakir's. How do you write Diyarbakir? I'm not sure. D-I-Y-R Bakir and Azerbaijan's. Watermelon is very delicious. Okay, we agreed on watermelon. What about citrus, guys? Which part of Turkey has good citrus? Orange, grapefruit. Grapefruit you don't have in Turkey, I think. Uh, you don't produce in Turkey. What about orange, lemon, lime? Where do you have? Good one. Which region? Delicious means Zainab yummy yummy, something that is very good with taste. We say delicious, very very good taste. Guys, which part of Turkey is famous for citrus? Where can you get good citrus? Orange, lemon, mandarin. Firuza says in Antalya, okay. Antalya is famous for citrus. Mersin, Alanya, Antalya, Izmir, mandarins is very tasty. Okay, we can write this one. Mandarin from Izmir is very tasty. Akdeniz, White Sea area. Adana's watermelon is delicious. Okay, you have a lot of places for watermelon in Turkey. Then we have got cherry. Do you know cherry, guys? We have actually two types of cherry. We have normal cherry and also we have different kind of cherry sour cherry we can say but they are very similar so let's not write uh, cherry mm, what can we cook with cherry we can cook um, some cakes with cherry also i love composta with of cherry. I love cherry composto a lot.
a lot of messages over here. Now it's the season of cherry. Okay, we can write this. Now is the season of cherry. And citrus is near a white sea region, uh, south of Turkey. Frinko, we love to make ear pods from cherry. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we were kids. <laughs> We made this one, true. Next, we have three fruits which are very similar to each other, kind of similar, let's say. Apricot, nectarine, and peach. So, we have apricot, nectarine, and peach. Apricot is small one. Peach is bigger. Nectarine is like peach inside, but like apple outside. Chiborek is famous food in Eskişehir. Okay. Uh, Hali loves cherry jam. Okay, we can write this sentence. Halil loves cherry jam. I love apricot jam. I will write this also. I love apricot jam. Guys, I have one problem with peach. I cannot touch peach. Do you have same situation? I cannot touch the peach outside. I can't touch the peach. Actually, we don't need that. Generally, I can't touch peach. Bursa is famous with peach. Really? I live in Bursa and I did not know. I live in Bursa, which is famous for peach. Zainab loves apricot. Zainab loves apricot. Nectarine is same in Turkish. Okay, nectarine is the same in Turkish. Oh, I love grapes very much. I love um, green ones and I love black ones. Osgur, usually I ask someone to peel the peach. Peel, guys, take the skin out. We call peel. For example, if I'm with my mother, my mother peels peach for me, then I eat. I know that um, Izmir region is famous with grape. Is it correct, guys? You have good grapes near Izmir. Grapes are grown in Izmir. Okay, in Izmir and Mansa. There are some areas in Turkey where there are famous, which are famous about grape wines. Yep. Next one, we have got a lot of berries, guys. I included five different types of berries, but we have a lot more. We have got first blackberry, I don't remember the name in Turkish, blackberry, blueberry, uh, strawberry, raspberry, so, oh sorry I have four, blackberry, blueberry, strawberry and raspberry. Blackberry is dut, yeah, probably correct. 
uh, blueberry, I don't know, strawberry, chelik, I know, raspberry, uh, I don't know in Turkish, raspberry. People who live in Manisa collect grapes every summer. Yep. Ahududu. Which one is Ahududu, guys? Ahududu. <laughs> Which one is Ahududu? Raspberry. Very good pronunciation. Ahududu. I like it. <laughs> So let's write this sentence. Blackberry is is very cheap in Azerbaijan. Hmm. I ate some strawberry during the break time. I had some strawberry during the break time. Raspberry is ahududu in Turkish. Next one, we have got pomegranate. Pomegranate. A lot of people don't know the name of this one. I think you understand from the photo what pomegranate is Nejat says blackberry leaves are used in silk production really i did not know that pomegranate um pomegranate juice is used for i forgot the name of turkish food there is Turkish food, you put it in lavash and also you use pomegranate juice with it. Chikofte, yeah, correct? Pomegranate juice. Juice goes well with chikofte. Is it correct, guys? Do you use pomegranate juice with chikofte? Chikofte. Is it true? I'm not sure. Maybe like this. Chikofte. I don't know how you write in Turkish. Firuza says Bursa is famous with olives. Really? Plum. Ah, not juice. It is pomegranate sauce. Okay. True. Plum, guys, in Turkish, it is erik. You don't have a lot of types of plums in uh, Turkey, but in Georgia we have so many different. Tuanet kremali, citeli kremali, lenk roti, kliavi, tupala. We have six types of plums in Georgia. And also I will give you one um, thing. One sentence, we prepare We prepare tamale sauce with plum in Georgia. It is very, very sour and I think very, very, very good. In Turkey, I have not seen plum sauce. Uh, um, last one we have got from uh, fruits, fig. We have usually two different types of fig. We have black one, like black or purple, and also we have green fig. 
my grandmother had figs in her garden. I remember in the village my grandmother had very good figs. After this, we will learn some uh, tropical fruit names. Tropical fruits, banana, I think same in Turkish. Kiwi is also same in Turkish. Pineapple, this has different name in Turkish. Mango, it is same, I guess, in Turkish. And coconut. Do you know coconut? I don't like coconut. So I don't eat bounty. Hindustan Jevis is coconut. Huh. Do you remember the chocolate bounty? The chocolate bounty has coconut inside. I think we finished the words for today. Uh, now, ah, no, sorry, we have got one more. Avocado. Uh, what can you prepare with avocado? You can prepare guacamole sauce. Guacamole sauce needs avocado. Guacamole sauce. It is... Um, it is... Mexican sauce, guys. Azime loves mango. I don't like mango, but mango juice, mango and pineapple juice are my favorite. Gustafa says avocado is good for women and fig is injured in Turkish. Are you eat? Have you eaten kokostar? No, I have not eaten this one, Ramazan. <clears throat> so let's um, finish vocabulary like this. Now we are going to do some games and tests. When I teach um, vegetables and fruits to my students in class, I always play hangman with them. Human, etc. Bounty, it's chocolate brand. Like Ülker and etc. There is sneakers and bounty. Um, Coco Star so popular with coconuts. Oh, okay. So I always play hangman with my students. Do you know what is hangman? Hangman is this game. Okay, so now let's try to play hangman online. I don't know how we can do it successfully. So the topic is fruits and vegetables. You should tell me the letters, letters, half, which half should I write and I will choose and we will see, we win or maybe we lose. So we have one, two, three, four, five letters in this one. Nejat says A, let's check, uh -huh. A is correct, apple, let's see, let's try Correct. Okay, it was very easy one. Good. So we have one point. Next one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have got seven letters. Which letter should we use first, guys? You, come on, Nejati, are you? Oh, there is you. Let's see other students. You. Mm -hmm. It cannot be Mandarin or Betrothed. Guys, tell me the letters. Uh, Firuza says E. Let's check E. Yes, we have E also.
Gustafa says A. No, we don't have A. Human, etc. How can I write citrus here? We have E, not I. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. I know the answer. I found the answer. Let me explain. It is um, used in salads. We use for salads a lot. Ah, good one. Ramazan found it. Lettuce, correct. Lettuce. Lettuce. It is uh, salad leaves. Next one, we have got two, four, six, eight letters. Who wants to start? Who can give me first letter? C. Let's try. Uh-huh. I think we all understand. It's very easy. Nejat says I, but we don't have I in this one. Gustafa, you are correct. It is cucumber. Cucumber. Gustafa, uh, Nejat, and Amazon gave correct answer. We are doing very well, guys. Three points. Just five letters. It's not apple again, okay? <laughs> it is different one. Which one do you think it can be? Orange. How can I write orange with five letters? We are playing against computer, not against me. I'm with you. I'm helping you. Gustafa says I. Nope. Halil, it can be peach. It can be melon. It can be lemon. It can be a lot of things. It can be peach. So tell me letters first, guys. Let's start with letters. O and A. Let's check. O. We have got O. We have got A also. L. Nope. Azime, your favorite fruit, I think. I think Azime said it is her favorite fruit. Or maybe another student said. I like the juice of this fruit. Mango. Correct, Ramazan. And Azime. And Halil also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it's very long. Let's start with let's start with 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 which letter? Maybe we can use vowel. Guys, vowel is Cecily Harf. Vowel A E I O U. And other letters are consonants. A C O. Let's see. A C O. E is next one coming. Okay. Co. Not coconut because we have E E. <laughs> Azime, cucumber is not correct. Cucumber. It is U, not O. Give me letters, guys. I think this one is difficult. So let's try with letters. Which letter should I write next? Which letter should we try? N. N. Nope.
R B and L R B L Halil says courgette. So T correct. G where is G and U. Do you know the meaning of this word, guys? Let me show you the photo. It's some kind of squash. Again, another name for kabak. So Kabak has a lot of names in English. Next one, we have got again five letters. Let's start with all vowels. I will use A, E, I, O, all of them. A, E, I, O. Huh. It can be, what can it be, guys? I think easy. We have E and we have O. There are two possible answers. It can be lemon, it can be melon. Which one do you think? Lemon or melon? Um, we have one, two, three melons and we have one lemon. Pusha says lemon. Ramazan, Nejat and Halil say melon. We have two more lemon coming. Let's wait for 10 seconds. Then I will count which one is more, lemon or melon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have more melons, so let's try melon. If it is lemon, you lose, guys, okay? <laughs> Uh, it is not melon, it is lemon. Some students were correct, but a lot of students lost this one. They thought melon. Six letters. This time, let's try not to start with vowel. Let's start with consonant. Sessis. Let's start with consonant letters. B, C, D, F, G, and etc. Tell me consonants. C and K. But your says... R and I think we already understand the answer. It will be... T also correct, so come on, who is the first one? No D, of course. Gustafa is correct, and first one, carrot. Also, Ramazan, Mert, Bahadir, Bushra joined him. Good, seven points so far. Next one, we have got seven letters, I think, two, four, six, sorry, eight. Eight letters. Again, let's start with uh, consonants, no vowel. R. C. B. No C, no B. K. Nope. M. Yeah. A. Ah, okay. Almost same name in Turkish, guys. L. Nope. I think already you can guess. It is citrus. Yeah, Nejati, you are correct. It is mandarin. 
Nejati was first one for these. Next one, we have got six letters. You can say vowel, you can say consonant, no problem. E. Nope. B. Nope. Nejat, I don't know what's the connection, but yes, you are correct. Chinese language has dialect called Mandarin. K and S, let's try. K, no, S, no. Aha, guys, we are losing, come on. Grapes is not correct because no S. We have only two chances left. One leg and second leg. R. Nope. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I. No. Ah, we did not lose. G. No, ah, oh, it was potato. We did not think about it. We lost first time. Next game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's start with G. Yes, we have G. A, yes, we have A. We have C, it is first one. Oh, no. Holly, correct, it is cabbage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, very long word. Very long one. Let's see what it can be. F. Mm -hmm. A. Nope. E. Yes, we have got E. Thank you, Mert. R. Mm -hmm. B. Blueberry. Gustafa is correct. He is first one who said it. Of course, it is blueberry. <laughs> Not beer berry. I like beer berry. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have time to do this one also, then we can finish the lesson. Six letters we have got. A. Yes, we have. S. We have. Help me, guys, with this one. Um, which letter should we use next?
Firuza says I. Okay, let's see I. We have I, T. Nope. N and M and P. P. Where is P? No, N, no, M, no. Reddish. Human, etc. is correct. This is reddish. Good job. So we finished our score with 11 points and we lost only one. We lost potato, the easiest vegetable. Uh, somehow we lost. Thank you guys for watching today's lesson. I enjoyed it very much. I wish you a very uh, good and successful day. Please stay healthy and stay safe. Uh, and there is another lesson starting at 2 o'clock. And of course you can join. Please, meanwhile, don't uh, forget to like our videos and comment on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, also, Twitter account of Just English. Have a good day. Enjoy it. See you later, guys.